Look at this rain. Look at this rain, man. You're scared of opening. Woo. Welcome, welcome, everybody, to the HN vlog. It's raining like crazy. So I decided to use the time to uh, talk about a, a topic that uh, I had a discussion about with somebody. By the way, listen guys, subscribe to the channel. You know, if you like the content, you see value, post a comment, tell me what you think. The, 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 the interesting thing about conferences, man, I love the fact that Rwanda has become a hub for conferences. Because even though this is a small market and um, it's very difficult to penetrate, there's a lot of challenges we have as African entrepreneurs, even especially Rwandese entrepreneurs, to even build a, a brand and, 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 and get a foothold in Rwanda. And maybe I'll do a vlog specifically for the challenges of Rwanda an entrepreneur. But what I love about what Rwanda is doing today is the conferences. Man, it's a game changer, guys. Um, it's a game changer in so many layers, right? It's a game changer because, um, the, you know, now a lot of people are coming, investors, companies, they're coming. You don't have to go to them anymore. They're coming here. A lot of interesting people, uh, a lot of investors. Um, a lot of you know decision makers uh, that you can meet, you can network if you're good at positioning yourself and, and meeting those people, and um, you can demo. Uh, even though we, we still have some work to do with SMEs to find places uh, to to demo their, their their technology, we we it has bring a huge value. But conferences as becoming a place. How can I say that? The, the conferences I see, I keep seeing the same conference, uh, uh, talking about the same topic. I was watching uh, WEF, uh, the, the, uh, the WEF, uh, through YouTube, and now they're talking about how they're going to impact the youth and, 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 and help the youth and, and build a bridge of digital gaps. And every year for the last six years since I've been back, it's been the same topic. How to help the youth. It's a big topic, it's a very interesting topic, but nothing gets done in conferences. You know, nothing gets, uh, uh, um, not, not, I don't see any changes on the topic. We should be able to talk about something else, but we ain't. And, and you keep seeing the same thing in the format. I think the biggest challenge is the format of those conferences, right? We have the wrong format. Uh, in a sense where we we sit down, we invite a bunch of people, there's people, most 70% of the people are, are at the conference on their phone, um, and, and they don't even listen to the topic, there is no engagement. I think the format needs to change, guys. I need the format is getting old, because if you're going to solve a problem, you need engagement. It's not because you are, you're running the World Bank. Or, or, or you're running some big organization of the UN that you know what's going on or you have the, the answer to the solution. There has to be a, a think tank type of model where people get engaged. And I know a lot of time there's conversation and we ask a few questions and people answer. But I think the conference model needs to be revolutionized and completely changed and build more engagement if we're going to solve this problem. Because I'm, I'm, I'm me personally, I'm tired of hearing the same thing. And I, I don't go to conferences to listen to anybody. I just go there to network. I, I select people I want to meet or people I think that I can bring value to them, they can bring value to ARED. And then that, that's really what the spot is. But if we're gonna, if we're gonna make conferences the way it's supposed to be, the format has to change. That's pretty much what I believe, man. 